Well, moments ago, we learned a woman was shot and killed in the seventh ward. This happened in the 2400 block of Allen Street just before nine. She now becomes the ninth woman in New Orleans to be killed in just the last six weeks. We'll continue to follow this story as we learn more information. And new information tonight about a New Orleans mother killed just over 24 hours ago. Family says she was shot while her three children were in the home. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta and I'm Cherie skips in today on National Gun Violence Awareness Day. We are looking at the rise in violence against women again, learning in the last few minutes that another woman was killed. As experts stress, the city needs to overhaul its mindset if we want to stop the violence. Eleanor Tabone has the story. NOPD arrested 34-year-old Lawston Lee in connection to the fatal shooting of a 34-year-old woman here at the 3800 block of General Taylor. This incident marks the eighth woman to be shot across the city of New Orleans in the past six weeks. According to our partners at NOLA.com, Keisha Cherie Gray was a mother of three. Her accused killer is the father of her two youngest children. You have children who are now growing up without their mothers. Dr. Reggie Parkway from Tulane University says there are a number of reasons women are being killed. According to the CDC, 41% involve domestic violence. Here in the city, we've seen more women be murdered uh, than we saw in the last several years, almost double the number. We did not get into this crisis in a, in a year and we're not going to get out of it in a year. This week, the U.S. Department of Justice announced new initiatives to prevent and address sexual and intimate partner violence and stalking. The steps that we are taking and need to take to address intimate partner violence are critical to understanding any increase in female homicide. Back in Broadmoor, where Gray was killed, neighbour and former New Orleans City Council member Jim Singleton says he doesn't understand why women are being targeted. I was here uh, when Pennington came in and we had all of the crime problems back then but it did not include women the way it is today. Experts and leaders say we need to work together to change the city's mindset. Eleanor Tabone, Eyewitness News. In newly released details from our partners at NOLA.com, police say the suspect in Gray's killing staged the crime scene to make it appear to be self-defense. An affidavit says Lost and Lee took their children to his mother's house after the shooting, then to a restaurant before returning to the crime scene to call police.